So the ingredients are about one kilogram of meat cut into pieces. We're going to use beef, but you can also use uh, pig cheeks. It really depends on your preference or whatever you have available. Two chopped onions, two pieces of bread, which I've covered with some nice sharp mustard. I'm going to be using this delicious mustard that is made in our city. It's called Tilintan mustard and it's pretty damn good. We're not sponsored by this mustard, just uh, we think it's delicious. <laughs> I also cut off the crust of the bread because I think it helps the bread dissolve better. About three cloves of garlic, a couple of laurel leaves, a good teaspoon of thyme. You can either use dry thyme or just a fresh twig of thyme. Two bottles of dark brown beer of your choice. I'm going to use this one. For example, I made this dish in Russia, but they didn't have Belgian beer there, so I had to use some German dark brown beer and it turned out pretty good. So it's more of a personal preference. About two tablespoons of... I don't know how you can describe this. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you. As you can see, it's pretty thick. I would describe it as a mixture between molasses and jam. So I would say two tablespoons of molasses that looks like jam, <laughs> some butter, olive oil, beef stock, and finally, I'm just going to hold this up, pepper and salt. Oh, and I forgot to say, we're going to use one tablespoon of flour. First of all, we're going to season the meat. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to season it with some pepper and salt. And just massage it in there. Now set it aside and let's start cooking. First of all, take a large pot and add some butter in there. Because we don't want our butter to burn, we're going to add a splash of olive oil on top. Put it on the fire and let it melt. All right, once the butter has melted, start adding your meat one by one. Make sure not to overcrowd the pot and just sear the meat shut. You can also sear it shut in a pan, but I think it's better to do it in a pot where you're going to make the beef stew eventually, so it adds that extra bit to the flavor. Once the last of the meat has been seared shut, Turn off the fire. If you have some excess fat in your pot, drain that. I don't really have that much oil, so I don't see the point of draining that. So usually at the same moment you start to warm up your beer, but because we're filming this, it's quite hard <laughs> to do the things at the same time. So we're just going to pause the cooking process for a bit and warm up the beer. I'm just going to take a little saucepan and put the beer in there. You may be wondering, why are we doing this? It's way better to have the beer and the stew roughly at the same temperature. Because otherwise, if you're going to add the cold beer to the stew, your meat will shrink and uh, will become a bit tougher than it's supposed to be. At this point, the beer is nice and warm and I'm going to lower the fire to low so that it doesn't cool off when we're cooking. So, in the same pot, add a good chunk of butter, put on the fire, and let it melt. We're basically deglazing the pan a bit with the butter so that the nice fried bits loosen up a bit. To that, add the onion. We're just going to fry it for a bit until it starts looking glazy. Now let's start adding the meat back to the pot. At this point, you may notice that the meat has released some meat juice. I'm just going to leave that behind because we're going to use this at a later stage. Give it a good stir. Now, let's add the flour, the laurel leaves, the thyme. I'm just going to crush the garlic a bit and add it in the pot. It's not practical the way I'm doing this, but oh well, there you go. Give everything a good stir so that the meat is covered with the flour and the seasoning. Oh, this is smelling so good already. Now, add your warmed up beer. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of molasses that looks like jam. Give it a good stir so that the molasses dissolves. It's time for the mustard bread. Take the bread and put it mustard side down in the pot. You can also just use bread and skip the flour, but I like to use them both so that everything binds well together. And now, finishing touch, we're going to add the meat juice back into the pot. 
as well as a couple of ladles of beef stock, just enough to cover up the meat. And there we go. At this point, your beef stew is basically ready. All you have to do now is just wait. Put the fire on low and let it simmer for at least 40 minutes while stirring from time to time. And there you have it. Two hours later and the dish is done. Look at this beautiful, dark, rich beef stew, which is filled with so many good flavors that I can't wait to dig in. Usually in Belgium, we serve it up with some fries and some mayo, but you can eat this with whatever you like, some rice, some tortillas, whatever pleases your soul.